Hey guys and gals, I am back. Uh, <laughs> so you're actually hearing me speaking correctly now, rather than uh, all robotic-y. The first hour of this recording is obviously... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I must apologize about that, but now my voice should be back to normal, so uh, never fear, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways, um... Well, that's... That's quite unfortunate, but now we're fixed. Hopefully it wasn't too harsh on your ears, and you could still kind of make out what I was saying. It was just, I was robotic for a while. To make up for that, we're going to continue a little bit longer here. Probably another 30, 45 minutes. Alright. So, where were we? Dun, 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 dun. Please. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. What are you doing? This is bribery. 100% bribery. You can't do this. You're an employee of the school. <laughs> what should I do? Mitsuki-san is completely ready to do this. Yeah, put your shirt back on. そうじゃない。ノー。子供じゃないんだから、そんなダダをこねないでくれ。だって。だっても First, put your shirt back on, please. Takoya, what are you doing? Really? Takoya, what are you doing? Yes, probably. Slowly, the growth is more than ever. Don't worry about me. I'm not me. I'm not me. I'm not me. I'm not me. Love is blinding, though. Huh? I am me, but not myself. The Takoya in front of Mitsuki-san right now is not the Takoya she knows. Could it be? That the concept also applies to Rizoji that Mitsuki san speaks of? A different Rizoji than before. A different Rizoji than the one she knows? Yep. That's what swapping times can do you. Oh, 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 oh. Rejected. Takoya, I like you now. I like you a lot. Ah, uh, just how am I going to walk my way out of this one? I wonder if I ended up hurting her. But I feel that doing it with her now would be even more inexcusable. Just what am I supposed to do? あなた、昔から直球だものね。褒めてんの？けなしてんの？褒めているの。いいわ。よくわからないけど、あなたが納得してからちゃんと聞かせてちょうだい。そっか。すまない。あ、やばらないんだよ。バカ。わかってないわね
Well, I've managed to tide her over for now, I think. I wonder how I'm supposed to interpret that smile. Maybe she isn't completely convinced, yet comprehends the matter nonetheless. <sighs> anyway, Rizoji, huh? He's worth looking into. <laughs> We've been talking for quite some time. Night's already set in. Let's go. The school grounds are dreadfully cold at night. There's not a single soul in sight. Mio! Mio! おそくまで学校で勉強かい違うわ。有馬君こそ学校に残って何をしていたのよ。俺はその三月じゃなくて、えっとあれなんだよ。あれ。その屋上で昼寝をしていたら寝過ごしちゃってね。そうだ、これだ
I get the feeling I've done nothing but shout lately. <笑>ミオスチタナス。違うのよ。その知らないわ。そうだ。ミオが俺ん家を知っているわけないな。だって今俺が自分でここは俺の自宅だって言ったんだ。そうそう。私はそれを聞いて、ああ、そうなのかって
I have no idea. <laughs> Cafe. Hmm. Huh? Over there, isn't that Mio and Yuki? Oh. So they're still loitering around here. Looks like Yuki's making a zealous appeal to Mio. Ah, oh, it must be because of that bad thing earlier this afternoon. I did tell Yuki to invite her out to tea, so we actually acted on it. Ah, oh, Mio's coming this way and she's left Yuki behind. I can no longer escape. Yo. It's fate. <laughs> Mio X Yuki or Mio X Takuya is canon. それは<笑> あのまま置いてくる奴があるかよ。ほら見てみろよ。勇気のやつ。喫茶店前で呆然実質だぞ。だって。だっても行かもないよ。あいつは年下だぜ。俺相手ならまだしも何マジに怒っているんだよ。
had no reason to be at the cafe. Well, what should I do next? Huh. Where are we gonna go? Should I go to the heights? You can see the whole town from up here. The night view is quite breathtaking. Can we go anywhere? It's Muji Park where couples cluster together night after night. Mewen literally means bright clouds, though some people would prefer to take it to mean fate, another possible meaning of Mewen regarding it as a place in which couples are born. It seems there's a surplus of couples over there once more, God damn it. <laughs> Yuki and uh, Mio are probably there. I don't think we can do anything here. Uncharacteristically solemn thoughts. No, we can't do anything. We're going home! Oh, oh Ayumi-san! いや、その突然夜道で一人会ったんでびっくりしたんだ。何よ、戦場って。一般論さ。セントラル街へ行っていたの？うん、まあね。少しブラッと。ダメよ。あまりフラフラしちゃ。Hey, hey. Ayumi-san's always been strict about this kind of stuff. She keeps this up, there's no way I could shack up with a girl at a hotel scot-free. <laughs> Inside, right? <laughs> what am I getting so flustered about? Time to watch the news, right? <笑>何を言っているの若い哲学者さん待っててね今着替えてくるからすぐにお食事にするわなあ、あゆみさん何今日は遅くなるんじゃなかったのかい予想以上に録画が早く終わってね僕が What's this about a recording? Maybe our VCR was set on a record or something. A recording, huh? It doesn't seem like the VCR recorded anything in particular. On the TV, maybe? Oh, talk about Lucky. The one popular newscast, News Presence, is about to start. Huh, I've seen that woman before. A lot. Where was it? Everywhere. Ah! That's right. It's the Chatterbox event loitering around my house and geotechnics. There's no mistaking it. I see, so she was a reporter of figures. Oh, this is, um, earlier in the route, she was trying to get into geotechnics to record her, and they're like, no way are we letting you in, but she'll come down to the studio to, uh, to do an interview with you. Chief Arnima, she said. Ah. That woman on the left, she could be. Ayumi-san. Let's turn up the volume. I mean, so it's commenting. It's about the construction site at the coast. Is she being questioned about the accidents? What the hell is this? This is nothing short of bullying. She really makes it hard for Amy-san to keep her composure. Shit, what an annoying bitch. She calls herself a journalist, but when all said and done, she's nothing but a crooked scoop star jackal. Using the media as a guise to tread upon others' privacy. Ah! Ah, 
あゆみって左側からの方が自信あるんだけどあゆみさんああもっといい服を持っていればなその僕が撮りってこのことよっひどいよなこれじゃまな板の上の恋されるがままじゃないか<笑>このキャスターの言うことは事実ですもの事故は会社側の責任だわ私たちはそれに対して責任を負う義務があると思う The company is liable for random lightning strikes No they aren't でもテレビじゃそれではこの事故は作業者側のミスであったとい,いえそうは申しませんただ管理ミスではなくあくまで業務上の過失という観点から嫌な女性だわ本当だよなこのキャスターの陰険なことと言ったら違うわ歩みのことよいかにも言い訳をしているふうねこれでは遺族が黙ってはいないわそんなことないよ私は会社の方針に従わなくてはいけないのそれが仕事だものじゃあテレビのコメントはあゆみさんの意見とは違うってこと私の立場からはそれを言うことはできないわしょうがないのよだってこれじゃあゆみさんが憎まれるだけじゃないかそれも責任者の仕事のうちなのそんなの納得できないよありがとうもっと素敵な歩みを見てほしかったんだけどねですから会社側に全く落ち度はなく<笑>これじゃ責任逃れをしているただのもういいよ俺ももう見ない<笑>ほんと言うとねあのあと無償に飲みたい気分だったわでも会社に行かなきゃならない用事があってねあゆみさんでもお酒を飲むことなんてあるんだあるわよそれって差別発言じゃないいやそういうことじゃなくてごめん<笑>いいのよねえあゆみさん何仕事大変<笑>ありがとうでも大丈夫よ何かあるんなら手伝うよ俺その役に立たないかもしれないけど大丈夫本当よあのさ家庭として聞いてほしいんだけど何かしらその親父が広大さん親父の野郎がもしもだよもしももしも親父が生きていたらどうするごめんねえその質問には答えられないわ家庭に喜びを見出してもしょうがないものそっかそうだよなごめんつまんないことを聞いてうん<笑>平気よあ、uh, what if huh maybe that's all it is Even I find it hard to believe that the old bastard might still be kicking. Do you do? 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 Do you そうしたら作ってあげるねうんそうしてよじゃあお風呂沸かしておくね沸いたら入ってあさてっとお台所でも片付けないと帰ってからの家事は大変だわ tap 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 there's somebody at the door just what was I thinking asking her that I'm such an idiot tap 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 what is the tap 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 Is somebody in Father study? I don't need to go to the study. The only option I have right now is to go back to my room. What? Okay, there's no point in that dazing out here. Let's go to my room. You're going back to your room? I'll call you when the bath is ready, okay? Who have returned to my room? Flump. I wonder what I should do from now on. I have no idea where my father could be. And the only thing I left behind was this bizarre device. So this is my one and only clue, huh? A clue? What kind of clue is it supposed to be? I wonder. I don't even have any proof to testify he's still alive. I want to get my thoughts in order. Too many things have all happened at once. Maybe I should give consideration to Ayumi-san's case first. Ooh. Ayumi-san. 
I wonder if it's okay to tell Ayumi san about my old man. Showing her that letter I got from him might cheer her up a bit. Nah, I can't do that. She's no longer the same Ayumi san I encountered at the shrine that night. That much is certain. On the other hand, if I were to ignore that event, I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference, Ayumi san asks, just as usual. Right, and to make matters worse, there's a chance that come tomorrow she might yet be another different Ayumi san than she was today. If I let her know about my old man, then maybe. Nah, I can't do that. What would I do? Why? What would I do if my father from this world was really dead? I couldn't bear to give her false hope, only to watch her slip even further down into depression. It's been half a year since she tied the knot with my old man. She's becoming a widow in just half a year's time. She must be suffering far more than myself. I don't want to watch her suffer any longer. Right, this entire mess is the old bastard's fault. God damn it. It's all him. Kodai! The old bastard, huh? He's the root of all evil. All this was his fault. It's cool that he's committed to his research and all, but he just up and died and then sent me some stupid letter. And that entrusted me with this device of his own accord. I don't even know whether he's dead or alive. The only thing I'm sure of is that this device that transcends any notion of common sense has been placed into my hands. Back then, Ruzoji said that my old man was somewhere still in this world. What did this world entail? Is this the world that I'm in this very moment? The only clues I have right now are the device, the mirror, and... Ruzoji's words. He's out there somewhere. Come to think of it, Mitsuki-san told me something about Ryuzoshi. She said he'd been acting strange lately, different from his usual self. I wonder if Mitsuki-san senses something. Mitsuki-san, huh? She's Ryuzoshi's secretary, that's her full-time job. She used to fill in as a part-time teacher way back when. She taught history, all for all things, and she would give us handouts copies straight from my old man's books. School never felt boring when she was still teaching. Yeah, we even dated for a while then. It was a secret, though. She was head over heels for Ryuzoshi at the time, but in the end, it never became anything more than a liaison. Her love remained unrequited. Right around that time, I had lost my bearings over the death of my father, and somehow we ended up seeking comfort from one another. At least up until that one time Mia walked in on us. Arg, enough, enough. How did I get off track? Anyway, what she told Mia earlier is more infinitely more important than that matter. She said that Ryuzoji has changed. Changed, huh? In what way, I wonder? Ryuzoji changed. I wonder what that encompasses. Ryuzoji, I'll never forget the fact that he pointed a gun at me. But I wonder, does that fact extend to the current Ryuzoji? He's conducting himself like nothing ever happened. There's only two possibilities I can think of. One, that he's shamelessly feigning ignorance. And second, that he's not the Ryuzoji I know. In other words, the Ruzoji is not the one I encounter at Sword Cake. Not the Ruzoji from back then, huh? But if that were the case, then where in the hell did that Ruzoji end up? Same for the Ayumi that was present at the scene. Actually, maybe the Ruzoji from back then didn't go anywhere. Maybe it was only me who did. I need to find myself some kind of opportunity to investigate Ruzoji in further detail. Is there anything I can use as leverage? It doesn't matter what it is, I just need something that could serve as a trigger. Ryuzoji. His secretary Mitsuki-san. His mother who sought her guidance. Oh yeah, there was another player. It happened in that dark corridor. Kaori. Yeah, they were having some kind of backroom meeting. I don't know what they were talking about, but... Ah! That's right, the woman he was talking to was that pretty reporter from News Presence. There's no doubt about it. Don't tell me that the she... That was mentioned in the journal scrap would actually refer to that Kauri woman? I don't think so. Nah, I shouldn't make premature judgments. You could refer to any person in the female sex as she. There's no way I can narrow it down like that. Still, it's gotten me curious. Something's just off about the whole thing. Ryuzoji, huh? What else can I dig up about him? Oh, right. What about the mansion in which he lives together with his mother? And of course, the curse that surrounds it. The curse, huh? Cat? The curse, huh? Wait a sec, I remember that Ryuzoji mentioned something about that. What was it again? Shit, remember Takuya. There was something in her conversation that felt a bit off. I need to remember what I talked about with Ryuzoji. Oh uh, yeah, if I recall correctly. Yube. <laughs> 
夜はあまり出歩かないたたりですかおや知らないのかな聞いたことはありますが人が二人も死んだのだからね用心に越したことはあるまい Wait, right there. What did you just say? おや知らないのかな聞いたことはありますが人が二人も死んだのだからね用心に越したことはあるまい Two people. Two people died by the hand of the curse. I'm pretty sure that only a single person has been devoured by a tiger or panther or whatever. Then who the hell is the second guy? Takuya-kun! What? Na. Nandai? Ofro ga waita kara. Haeri nasai. Wagata. Ado de haeru. Hmm, what a carefree voice. But anyway, Rizoji's mansion. I have the urge to check out that place. Immediately, yes, I do. Let's get out of here. Yeah, Amy's on his own stairs. I wouldn't want to cause her more concern, so let's go straight out through the Mendo. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we are. I'm going outside. Yeah, looks like I've been able to get out undetected. It's not that cold, but I still got a bad case of the chills. I wonder why. We are going to go to the mansion. Yeah, let's go. Mansion entrance. I'm kind of. On it. You! Who are you? I keep running into you. I have no idea who you are. I've been running into that woman a lot lately. It looked like she came from Yuzoji's mansion. Anyway, let's go to Yuzoji's mansion. I've arrived at the mansion. It's as ominous as ever. This place has no streetlights for some reason. No wonder rumors about curses and the like have spread rampant. Yuzoji's living together with his mother in this mansion, and if I remember correctly, his mother had started acting strangely, then suddenly shifted gears back to normal. She acted strange, then converted to normal, huh? Honestly, I'm not really seeing the problem here. But according to Mitsuki-san, her conversion to her usual self is in fact the problem. Come to think of it, that old lady blurted out all kinds of weird crap the last time I met her. Like, weird proverbs and stuff. I don't know, but she seems pretty strange to me. Moshi. What? Oh my gosh. Ha 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 いささかさむございますね。ああ。もし。ああ。今日の昼に行ったことを吟味していただけましたか？ああ、no、actually、I あなたは気づきませんか何がでしょうかこの屋敷に存在する何かを何か私には聞こえるのです何か親間気づかないのですかおやま。What's wrong with this woman? Which reminds me, she mentioned something this afternoon. Something about how this mansion was built 400 years ago. She tried to tell me that this building has historical value or something? Ryuzoji. どうも。おお。こんなところで奇遇だな。有馬拓也君。うーん。ええ。散歩中に偶然先生の母親とお会いしましてね。おお。許してくれ。私が悪かったんですよ。許してくれ。ほら。うちに入りなさい。ここにい
申し訳ないです<笑>そうこの子に引き止められていたのだから許しておくれ。Hey, don't blame us on us. You were holding us up. いいからお母さん。早く中へ入りなさい。さ、早く中へ。The old lady entered the mansion. <笑>飛んだところを見られてしまった。あれは少しボケが進んでいてね。His voice changed. ボケよくない言葉だが、ボケ老人のことだ。社会問題にもなっているだろう。時々脈絡もなくわけのわからないことを言う。お気の毒ですね。しょうがないことだ。人間であるならば、いずれは誰もがああなる。<笑>しかし奇遇なものだな。ちょうど君のことを考えていた。奇遇ですね。俺もですよ。ユーソシエクスタコヤ、コンフォーム、カネン。偶然ですかね。どうだろうな。君とは一度話したいと思っていたところだ。いや、let's go。ええ、俺もですよ。その辺の確認のために。We got plenty of time あるかね。おそらく、たっぷりと。Yep。どうかね、上がるかね。うん。お邪魔します。That one smoothly, smoother than expected. Everything has gone according to plan so far. But then again, that might be the case for him as well. In any case, I can talk to Rizoji now. It's a step in the right direction, if nothing else. It looks like a traditional Japanese style garden. There's a brook flowing, I guess that might be pretty amazing in and of itself, I guess. There's an abundance of greenery on the estate, and there's another structure apart from the main house as well. It's all the way in the back. What was that? Hmm. That house is interesting. Maybe, just maybe. 右奥の建物は古い土蔵だよ。土蔵まあ、物置のようなものだ。ほとんど使ってはいないがね。And when was it built? You said it was an old storehouse. Ow! I was under the impression it was built two years ago. おもやは右手だ。土蔵よりは幾分マシな作りだ。来たわ。わかりました。Finally, I get the chance to enter Rizoji's house. It's, I'm like trembling from all the excitement. I'm a little nervous. So, this is the inside of the mansion. What's this? It's so simple, or maybe I should say frugal. I totally expected to encounter some nouveau, rich furniture and ornaments and stuff. There's almost nothing here. What's that? 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 なるほど。私の母親が神経質になってしまってね、家具を壊してしまうのだよ。はあ、まあ、だからというわけではないが、研究に関係ないものは大方処分をしてしまった。そうですか。But man, there's hardly any furniture left at all. Don't tell me the other rooms are like this too. 他の部屋もここと大体同じだよ。どうかねもっと奥へ入っては。This is a trap. We're not going to follow you. Let's not follow him. Please no. 失礼します。This is a trap. I had him cut out to be more of a nouveau riche kind of guy, but what a surprise. It certainly reinforces his scholarly image. さて、タクヤ君。Oh no, he's going to pull a gun on us again, isn't he? No. 君とは一度。こうして話し合いたいと思っていた。Oh no. 俺もですよ。Okay, this is it. <laughs> Crap. It's a living room with barely anything in it. It's completely barren. Sturdy physique and authoritative visage. He looks more like a yakuza boss than a school teacher to me. Well, apparently he and my father were landmates after all, although I think it's so abnormal. Rizzi, she's sitting before me. Only a single cushion separates him from the hard floor. Shkashi, zuibun to hiroi o yashiki desu ne. Oh, so omou ka ne. Orenchi no shikichi no kaaruk suubai wa ikimasu yo. 
管理の手間も数倍かかるということだ随分と古ぼけた屋敷だからねいえ古いという感じがしませんよ新築に近い感じだ改築に改築を重ねているからね確かこのお屋敷は400年くらい前のものだとかほうよく知っている誰から聞いたのかね Your mother それはフレンチそこの坊やにお茶でも出しましょうかねいえお構いなく寝室へ行っていなさい今は大切な話中なのだ This woman is creepy as fuck Seriously, what's wrong with that old lady? 彼女には結構驚いたのではないか彼女今の老婆だそうですねなかなか個性的な女性ですよ女性ないな、うん、見たままのことを言っただけです先ほども言ったが私の母親は少しボケが進んでいてね私のことも息子と認識していないデメンシャは Maybe that's why Mitsuki san had thought she was acting out of the ordinary? なるべく外には出さないようにしていたんだが、君に何か妙なことを口ち走らなかったかね。I should respond prudently. どうかね。妙なことと言っても、何が妙かという定義自体、個人によって違いますしね。普通ではない、タワごとの類だ。タワごとですかそれだったら別に何も。そうかただただ龍造寺先生が普通じゃないとは言っていましたね普通ではないかまあ俺の目から見ても普通ではないように見えますがどう普通ではないのかなさっき言ったじゃないですか学術研究のために家財なんかを売ったって<笑>常人はできることじゃないですねいい意味で非凡って意味ですよいい意味で非凡かどういうふうに暮らしているんですかこれはまあ俺の個人的な好奇心ですが普通だよ寝る場所は床に寝る私はベッドや布団というのが全くダメでね硬い床の上にしか寝られないのだ Talk about eccentric You can't get to sleep on anything but a hard floor誰にですか私の記憶にあるアリマ広大にだ彼はよく君のような目をして私に語りかけてきたものだそしてその考えは決して浅くはなかったようだ買いかぶってますねそうかね君の父親はそういう人間だった私の記憶がそう言っている一つ
親父がそこまで行っちゃっているやつとは思わなかったもので現実的ではないということかねそうです常軌を逸している君の言っていることは現在の常識というものに照らし合わせてみてということだろう当たり前です現実的な裏付けがありませんよ仮説というのは全て裏付けがないものだよそれを実証するのが我々学者の仕事なのだからね例えばだな拓也君何でしょうか君は宇宙の始まりはどういうものであったと思うかね宇宙の始まりそうだまあこの世の始まりと言ってもいい知りませんよそんなことある学者に言わせると宇宙というものは永遠に存在してきた存在らしい現実的ではないですね永遠にだなんて<笑>それは東洋精神の一つだなではもう一つの仮説としてビッグバン説というものもある本で読んだことはあります高密度の小さな核が爆発して宇宙になったって説ですねそうだその説はどうかなまあ永遠ってやつよりは現実的かな、うん、現実的かではその爆発以前はどうなっていたのかな爆発そう君の言う小さな核の周りには一体何があったんだろうなそれは宇宙があったんじゃないですか宇宙はビッグバン小さな核の爆発によってできたんだろうそれでは本末転倒だよじゃあビッグバン説そのものが間違いなんでしょうでは最初の質問に戻ろうこの世の始まりは俺にはわかりませんまあそういうことだ我々の周りには不可解で解説不能な事象というものが実は多数存在するそれに対して仮説を立て実証するのが我々学者の使命というわけだどんなに愚かな仮説でもですか実証されればそれは真理だ実証されていないじゃないですかだから仮説なのだよそれでも地球は回るといったガリレオの言葉を思い出してみたまえ不老不死が真理になりうると考えてるんですかそれはわからんなだが研究テーマとしては非常に面白い龍造寺先生も不老不死の研究をいや私のアプローチはもう少し違っていてね我々3人は別々の研究テーマを持っていた我々3人私と有馬光大そしてもう一人今川教授の3人だ龍造寺先生の研究テーマは何です私の今の研究テーマは人間だよ人間よろしいしリサーチトピック少し話が逸脱してしまったようだところで有馬拓也君何でしょうか私にも一つ質問をさせてもらえないかな俺に答えられることであるコーから何かを手渡されなかった No, 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 we haven't, we haven't 何かって彼の研究論文やレポートを読んでいるとどうもあるものが足りないように思えてならないそれをもしかしたら君が持っているのではと No, we don't have anything 俺は持っていませんなんせいきなりくたばりましたからねそうかでは何かを示唆するようなことは言われていなかったかね nope. 何かってどういうことです例えば絵空ごとのようなことだタイムマシンのような話をされたことは、huh? ないかね全くありませんそうか I shouldn't tell him about the reflector I feel like that would be a bad call. Yeah, it would. とりあえずこんなところか。梅さん。Last time you heard about that, you got a gun pulled on you. 梅。私の母親の名前だ。梅さん。しょうがない女性だ。では。どうも、お邪魔しました。うん。まあ、広大のことは本当に残念だった。いえ。彼のことだから。もしかしたらどこかで生きているかもしれませんよ。例えば同じ場所だけど全然別の場所とか。What are you doing, Takoya? 
それでは失礼します。Maybe that last bit was a bit unnecessary. Man, a little trigger isn't gonna hurt anyone. I might get a reaction sooner or later. Well, then I should. Boy, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. No, it wasn't. Oh no. Gulp. <laughs> A voice from space, huh? <laughs> Or some kind of mysterious radio wave intercepted directly by my mind, as if. Yeah, I'm positive that it came from over there. The storehouse that lies detached from the mansion. The boy must have been referring to me, which means. Anyway, let's go check it out. What this? It's a Japanese style storehouse, like the ones you often see depicted in movies. But it's, uh, I don't know. It's like this thing hasn't been maintained in the slightest. The thing's completely gone to ruin. Hmm. <laughs> it's molded shut with a huge padlock. No use, it won't open. The walls are pretty badly damaged. Doesn't look like the storehouse is being properly maintained. Wait, storehouse? I see, so this is the unusual storehouse that Mitsuki san spoke of. It certainly has gone to ruin, it's quite the eyesore. But I wonder what's so strange about it. It's because it was built two years ago, apparently, but you don't know that. These premises are several times larger than that of your average house, which means it takes several times the usual labor to maintain it. So it's just, Rizu, so it's, so it's just as Rizoji said, huh? He's living here alone with his mother, after all. It's no wonder that he'd have a hard time managing it. Damn, this precarious mood really puts me on edge. It feels like a hideous monster could pop out at any second. <laughs> Cue the hideous monster. It's chilly, dark, and what's more. Ah! Ugh. Holy crap. <laughs> that startled me, even though I knew it was coming. Ha ha ha! Ha ha おお、俺にはその好きな女性がいるんだ。別に取ってくいはしませんよ。さっきはありがとう、ボーイ。わたしをかばってくれたわね。ありがとう。かばう。この土蔵に興味があるのかね。This <笑> does. この土蔵はね。およそ <gasps> It's a key to Mio's heart. Ha ha ha. That's right. Don't tell him, Takuya. I wonder if it's okay for me to tell him about the key. My intuition tells me that I better not. No, you better not. Yeah, there's probably something about this key. Besides, my intuition tells me that I shouldn't hand this over to Ruzoji. <laughs> He doesn't believe us. I made the right decision, I think. Obtains golden key. Let's go. Sate. Dete kita tsui de da kara na. Soto ma de okuru. Sumimasen. I think throwing me out would be a more accurate description to use here. But oh well. Domo. Mo yoru mo osoi. Hayaku kaeru yoni shita mae. Go chukoku. Kansha shimasu yo. 
We've been talking for quite a while. I am son might be worried about me. I gotta hurry back. Yeah, it's already been late. I gotta get a hack. Let's go back to school, huh? What's that? Over there on the wall. What the hell is that? What? No, not there. No, over there. Up on that wall. What wall? Look along the tile part of the wall. Look over there. What wall? Not there. No, over there. Up on... What wall are we talking about? Up on that wall. Tiled part of the wall. Yeah, oh, this thing. Just what is that? I won't find anything out if I keep idling around here. Let's get closer. What is this? Uh. <laughs> Just what is this? It's rather fascinating indeed. <laughs> I think it just spoke. It's thin and white, I wonder what this is. <laughs> just what is this? It's covered by some kind of fabric. What could it be? It moved. It just looks like something is pressing up against it. Just what is this anyway? <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but it kind of looks like a piece of fabric. <laughs> what the hell? It's dark, I can't really make it out. Just what is it? It's thin and white, I wonder what this is. Just what is it? It's within reach, so let's investigate some more. パンストだ。今 なんでそういう方向に行くんだ?なんだこの声は?電波かもしれないぞ。君な。君な。ちょっと。わ。喋ったぞ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <笑>やめないか。うん。どうやらこの辺りを刺激すると声が聞こえるようだぞ。だったら。スクイースクイースクイース。うん。甘い囁きを。What is <laughs> Her dress is stuck on that twig. キミという奴は。やめ。どうやらこの辺りを刺激すると胸聞こえが聞こえるようだぞ。だったら。ベロンベロベロ。などとできるわけがなかろう。すまん。へえな。何するんだよ、暴力教師。Is <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>感じてたくせに。何か言ったか。別に大体あんなところで何をしていたんだい。キャッチボールをしていたらボールが木に引っかかってしまってね。プレインキャッチボール。おかしいか。だって相手がいないじゃないか。壁がパートナーだ。こん
Why would you just be so curious about something like that? うん、ない。それは、リュウゾジ学長の意向なのかな。まあ、結果的にはそうなるんだろうけど、母親が家具を壊すんだとさ。母親学長は母親と一緒に暮らしていたのか。そうみたいだぜ。うん。母親か。それ
towel is covering up her body. What a hindrance, sir. I mean, I'm so jealous of it. Or, I mean, <laughs> anyway, it's a towel. Gulp. <laughs> She's so deliciously well endowed. Anyway, dirty man, the comments aside. She's being remarkably stubborn. I'm a little disappointed. Yes! <laughs> Is this really the right time to be engaging in chit chat? It's as risky a situation as ever. <laughs> it's quite a rounded, well rounded butt, I suppose. Damn, what am I saying about my own mother? いや、別に気にしていないから、本当。玄関から相当入ってくるんだもん。拓也君の責任があるんだからね。あ、ごめん。呼んでも返事がなかったから、てっきり寝てしまったのかと思ったわ。いや、その、ほら、俺って無性に
Miski son, huh? I wonder what the rush is about. Anyway, let's give her a call. Yeah, let's just give her a call. Yeah, I'm kind of curious as to why she said I'm in a rush. Let's call Mitsuki san immediately. I don't think she's gonna answer, but. Hmm. No one's picking up. I wonder what's going on. What's the matter with her? Oh, well, I could talk to her tomorrow. She's the assigned teacher for supplementary classes, and I'm attending exactly those. Ah, <sighs> flump. Ryuzoji, huh? Just judging by the conversation we had tonight, he didn't seem to be acting particularly abnormal to me. Still, I haven't forgotten what happened at the shrine. I won't forget the barrel of that gun from last night. Apparently, there was something special about this reflector. And I wonder how Rizoji would have reacted if I'd shown it to him. However, that would have been a reckless maneuver. What if he drew his gun on me again? Aside from that, there's that one old lady, Rizoji's mother. If anything, the granny was the strangest thing there. I seriously wonder what she's trying to tell me. Rizozi said she simply suffered from dementia. And she might, in fact, but even so. And there was yet another oddity there as well. Erika sensei what could have she been doing there? <laughs> now, what an appearance that was. Her clothes got caught in a twig and she was unable to get down. It certainly never had seen the side of her. But I'm getting off track! <laughs> Uh, what was she doing there? Anyone with two eyes could see that she was trying to sneak into Rizoji's mansion. Although she said herself that she was just there to pick up a misplaced ball. But seriously, anyone would have mistaken her for a burglar in that state. Uh, uh, I'm sleepy. Now that I think about it, I barely got any sleep last night. I stayed up late, waiting for Ayumi-san, and then fell asleep just for just a short while. I got to see Ayumi-san in the end, but... Mm, well, I should be able to sleep soundly this time. I'm gonna sleep comfortably while having me some sweet dreams. <laughs>